Blessings to you on this second week of Lent. This past Sunday, we heard the famous story, the binding of Isaac. The binding of Isaac, not the sacrifice, because as we know, God did not expect Abraham to offer his son as a sacrifice. He was testing him. He was testing Abraham's faith, just as sometimes our faith is tested. As a matter of fact, in the end of the story, God provides a sacrifice, the ram that's caught in the thickets. But further than that, we can read the binding of Isaac along with the early fathers of the church and see it as God offering his son, Jesus Christ, as our sacrifice. We often talk about making sacrifices, and that is dedicating something to God's purposes. We offer the sacrifice of the mass, we offer sacrifices in our life, but we have to remember that God provides everything that we could possibly offer to him. We are giving to him only what he has given us. That's something to remember. We are called to make sacrifices. We are called to offer prayers, thanksgiving, our time, talent, and treasure, as they say, as an offering to God. We're also called to make an offering of our own desires, our designs, our prerogatives, everything that is ours in this life, whatever is most beloved to us is actually something that we can offer to God. So this week going forward, think about what there is in your life. Think about who you are, what you do, what you have, and how that can be a sacrifice to God. Also for your Lexio Divina this week, I think it would be very helpful to, for you to read very carefully and prayerfully Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. This gives us some insight into Christ's offering of himself and how we are supposed to model the mind of Christ, the very being of Christ in our lives. Brothers and sisters, during this time of Lent, let us make an offering of our lives as the third Eucharistic prayer says, may he make of us an eternal offering to you. I pray God's blessing on you this week, and I pray that you were able to find areas in your life that you can offer as a sacrifice to our Heavenly Father. God bless you.